If you guys want to know where I buy all of my affordable fragrances, stay tuned. So welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited to film this video because today we're going to be doing a niche perfume haul as well as affordable perfumes, which are kind of duping niche perfumes. If you guys are not already subscribed, definitely subscribe to my channel. I will also be leaving my links to my other social channels. I do have an Instagram and a newly developing TikTok where I talk mostly about fragrances and do just like mini vlogs. I have a huge, huge haul of stuff which I want to show you guys. While we love niche, I think the quality is there. We still need some affordable options and I know some of you guys have been asking me for some affordable perfumes and where you guys can buy them. I am going to start with my niche perfumes. One of them was gifted. I do want to throw that out there. Before I talk about this fragrance, I wanted to share a disclaimer about even why this is a big thing for me. I absolutely love Creme fragrances I don't know what it is since escapade gourmand was released I have been obsessed with this burnt sugar vanilla type of DNA and I've just been looking for something else something similar but something not really and so I stumbled upon this brand and I'm so so happy that I did this fragrance house is called La Capuche and this is the box how stunning is that this fragrance is called Deliciousi Creme Brulee it is fairly new and I think this is gonna blow up very very soon because it is amazing and the price point is also amazing compared to for example Escapade Gourmand if I would compare this to Escapade Escapade Gourmand. This is giving the whole creme brulee. So you smell this whole full bodied dessert, the vanilla, the sugar, but it's giving you the whole creme brulee while Escapade Gourmand is just giving you this kind of like burnt sugar topping. And I'm just going to show you guys the packaging because absolutely 10 out of 10, this packaging is amazing. So it comes in that little sleeve and then this is the box. It gets even better. Okay, so let me actually show you the perfume because I'm just doing a lot of talking. This is the perfume out of the box. Such a beautiful perfume. The packaging on the front is very similar to the packaging on the box. And then it's just this gold bottle with a gold cap. And then you can kind of see that same house on the inside with some trees. This just smells like a full bodied creme brulee and I'm obsessed. I'll be leaving this perfume in my description box. This was kind of gifted by the brand, so I really, really appreciate this. I'm gonna try to kind of spitfire some of these perfumes because I do have a lot, but I do wanna share as many as I can. And I do wanna mention that most of these did come in PR and there are only a few that I purchased myself. And I'm also gonna be talking about how these perfumes make me feel, not necessarily going line by line on the notes. The next one that I'm gonna be talking about is fairly new in my collection. This one I did purchase myself. I actually smelt it on another girl in an influencer event and she just smelt like this vanilla cake and I asked her what she was wearing and she said that she was wearing Aqua e Zucchero from Profuma, Profuma Roma, I think I pronounced that wrong, but this is the brand. I am having such a hard time finding anyone who is reviewing this perfume on YouTube, on TikTok. Anyways, she was wearing this perfume and basically this translates to sugar water. And when I smelt it on her, I was not really smelling sugar or water. I was kind of smelling this vanilla cake and I feel like on her body, it developed into this very gourmand scent. So I did actually purchase this and packaging is so-so. Perfume came in this little foam encasement. And then when you lift it up, it actually came with an extra roller ball, a pipette, a cap, and then it also came with a sprayer. So it came quite secure. I'll give that to them. This is the fragrance. And if you have smelled pink sugar, this is a more full bodied and deeper, longer lasting pink sugar. And I didn't want to believe the reviews when they said it's pink sugar because I don't really mess with pink sugar like that. I don't like pink sugar. Something on it develops very synthetic, but this actually does smell like pink sugar. But I will say that the synthetic pieces of pink sugar, I don't really get here. This really turns into a heavy fragrance that projects, that is very sugary. I can layer this with everything. So this for me is a major, major layering perfume. And the girl that I smelt it off of, I think she was layering it with a vanilla perfume because this does not smell like a very heavy vanilla. It smells like a very heavy sugar forward fragrance. Now that we have the niche perfumes out of the way, I wanted to show you guys some very, very affordable 
affordable fragrances. I think I'm gonna start off with my Arabian scents and I was kindly sent all of these fragrances in PR from the company Oriental Style. They sell an array of Arabian fragrances and we all know that these fragrances are top tier when it comes to projection, but also the price point. So we're gonna start off with the most infamous one, which kind of blew the internet up, Shagaf Oud Tonka. And I'm sure if you're into fragrances, you have seen this on TikTok or on Instagram or on YouTube. This was one of the most, I guess, anticipated fragrances because everyone's like, Oud Tonka, what does that smell like? As we know, Arabian fragrances, their packaging, 10 out of 10. I absolutely love this. The color is beautiful. This is the fragrance and very similar to the other Shagaf fragrances. It has the same bottle. This is giving a a beautiful tonka so I get the tonka and please don't be scared if you don't really love oud oud is not for everyone but for me this is more a gourmand this is a gourmand tonka I feel like I get tonka I get vanilla and then there is this sweetness about it and I'm not really sure where the oud is come like there is no oud to my nose so I'm not really sure why they say oud but to me it just smells like a sweet Tonka vanilla fragrance. The next fragrance that Oriental Style sent me was Ansam Gold. This is duping the Love Don't Be Shy by Killian. 100% it smells like Love Don't Be Shy by Killian. If you're looking for a dupe of that fragrance, just go stop and get this one. This one is just it's basically the fragrance just rebottled. So you definitely need this and it is just a fraction of the price. I will say that this one is a bit more heavy on the orange blossom, but at the end of the day, when it dries down, it dries down to Love Don't Be Shy. The next two fragrances that they sent me, they're from this brand called Sultan Essency. They kind of look like this. This one called Harim Al Sultan, and I'm sure you guys are already aware of, I'll link it here, the perfume oil of this fragrance. I do know that that brand also just released a Eau de Parfum of their fragrance, but this brand also has a perfume that is of the oil and it smells one-to-one -one identical to the oil and I believe this brand is much more affordable than the original brand so if you can't afford that one or find that one you can definitely check out this brand on oriental style the next one is Atar Al Dahab this one to me is giving very sugary vanilla, very much like a pink sugar type of vibe. So if you really enjoy pink sugar, I think you'll enjoy this. But yeah, it's just giving a very, very sugary vibe, which I like, kind of like cotton candy, actually. I think that describes this really well. So if you like the cotton candy, pink sugar type of vibe, you will love this. Guys, Oriental Style really outdid themselves. Okay, so moving on to a fragrance which surprised me, um, but I did actually smell this in person maybe a year ago and I fell in love but it was out of stock in store. They sent me Amirat Al Arab and it's in this pink velvet bottle and the fragrance itself is called Privé Rose. This is the fragrance. I think another one of their fragrances is actually going viral at the moment. It's in a red bottle but I think this one needs to go viral, not the red one. So this one, as the name describes, it has rose in it. This is the most softest. There's also this hint of vanilla, rose cotton candy scent that I've ever come across. And I'm just so, so happy that I have this in my collection. This is such a soft, feminine scent. And if you are not a fan of rose, rose for me, we battle each other. Like we go back and forth. I don't really mess with rose because sometimes it leans kind of very florally. And then that allergy type of thing comes back for me. But this is a rose I can wear all day. And I did actually just test it out inside the house and it was on me the whole day. I was smelling so strongly of this perfume. It's so, so beautiful. Again, if you just like soft, vanilla cotton candy. If that is your vibe, pick this up ASAP. One of the last things that they sent me was a concentrated perfume oil, which is called Tofa. And this is by Beit Al Bakor. Oh my gosh. This is the box. I'm not pronouncing it right, but you guys can take a screenshot of anything. This is the perfume oil. It's in this stunning red and gold bottle. And I saw this on TikTok, which is why I was influenced to try this out. And this is a sweet, to my nose, it smells sweet, it smells ambery, and there is this like fruity type of scent. So I would say this is heavy on the fruity side. So if you like fruits and vanilla, 
I think you'll really like this. And I love having these perfume oils because they go AWOL in the summer. And I feel like you are feral when you put these on in the summer and then pair it with a perfume. It's like end game. So I love having these. This smells amazing. And I will be linking, of course, this in my description box. So that was everything that Oriental Style sent me. Again, they are German based and I believe they also ship EU wide. For my EU friends, you have no excuse to not smell good, like no excuse. I'll be linking all of the perfumes that I mentioned, all of the websites and the brands in my description box below so you guys can check them out. In the end, I really hope that you guys do test out some of these brands and some of these fragrance houses. I think I found honestly some gems here that nobody is talking about. Anyways, you guys let me know if you have any of these fragrances. I hope you guys are healthy and safe and I will see you in another video.